Welcome to Wall Street Sizing of a very special edition today. That's right, the election edition. That's why we're going to make it short and sweet so you can go vote. You know what we do on this channel. We help you profit off the hedge fund bros through their insider knowledge and insider trading. I mean insider knowledge, full stop. <laughs> that said, we're talking 13F today. If you don't know what a 13F is, that's what the hedge funds and the investment funds have to file with the SEC quarterly. So for the third quarter, they had to they can start filing October 1st and they get to November 14th. A lot of those are actually in. There's about 10,000 funds, including hedge funds and investment funds. We only follow the top 3,000. All right. That's, that's kind of our bandwidth, right? But um, so about 2,000 have reported. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the, their top 10 stocks of all uh, across all the hedge funds. That's not really going to be surprising. What's going to be surprising are some of the the sized up holdings that you may not have known about or you may not even have heard about. So with that said, Jake, hit the theme and let's go to work. Twenty twenty has thrown us another curveball. You see on the screen, because you're looking at the screen, all green. That's right. Typically on election days, we trade sideways or we trade down, and as you see there, green. Everything is in an uptrend. Uh, everything is up today except for energy. So what we're gonna bring you though is the top, about the top 10 most popular stocks. It's not gonna surprise you. What's gonna surprise you is what stocks they pulled back on, what stocks they added to. So starting with one, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Facebook, P PayPal, Adobe, Salesforce, Tesla, Netflix, Shopify, Square, Zoom, and Twitter. Nothing new. If you're an individual, you're long-term in those. If you're a fund, you're long-term in those. But here's what's interesting. With all the social media issues and the CEOs having to go to Congress to talk about the issues that they're having with censorship or whatever it is, Guess what two stocks of that top 12, I guess, they added to, these funds added to. That's right, number one was Facebook. They added 3.5 million shares. 1,100 hedge funds or 1,100 funds own that stock. Number two is even more surprising, Twitter. Twitter was down like, like a couple of days ago, 8%, right? They added 1,100 shares and over 250 funds own it. Here's the fun part. These are the stocks that you may not have known about that hedge funds are owning long term. First one, I thought that one of the most interesting stocks was SC or C Unlimited. I had seen it on the channel a little bit, really didn't know what it was, but SE Unlimited, that is not about water. That's online gaming platforms is what they own. Next one was ZS, like 100 funds own ZS. That's Zscaler. That's the internet security firm, right? MDB, MongoDB, that's a very long-term stock, but 100 funds own, or approximately 100 funds own it. Datadog, approximately over 100 funds own it. That's data analytics. Uh, you've got Roku, DraftKings on here, MongoDB. Uh, oh, here's one I thought was very interesting. Bill, B-I-L-L. -L. That's for Bill.com. Bill.com, again, data analytics. I thought that was funny. Uh, the last two, one is Big C, like B-I-G-C. That's big commerce. That's Shopify's number one competitor. I thought that was interesting that they were on this list as literally a long-term hold. About 20 funds uh, hold it. And one that I really liked was um, that I didn't think I'd see is Sumo, S-U-M-O. That is Sumo Logic. They're another data analytics firm. Now, in the top 50 most popular stocks that these funds hold, literally 40 to 50, number 40 to 50 was biotech. And uh, Moderna was the biggest one, 150 funds hold it. CRISPR, which we've mentioned on the channel, over 100 funds own it. CRISPR is the gene editing tool. And underneath that was EDIT. Now EDIT is the competitor to CRISPR, which is CRSP. Thought that was interesting as well. Some of the ones that you probably want to know is uh, RARE, -R -E, that's Rare Thera 
therapeutics, I believe me, in fact, check me on this. I believe they're working on a therapeutic for cancerous tumors. And then finally, uh, one you've heard of for COVID as well is Novavax and over a hundred funds own it too. With that said, guys, I just wanted to bring you that just for fun. Again, if you own these stocks, these are typically long-term stocks, or I, I would say they're long-term stocks. Nobody is going to say that you're wrong. But please, when you're dealing with the biotech or with all the stocks, do your own research. But with biotech in particular, because those can get volatile. So with that said, if you haven't voted, it is November 3rd. Please get out and vote. If not, watch your six. Go hard in the paint. We'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Well, good day, good evening, and whatever time it may be. We hope you enjoyed that video as much as we enjoyed making it. Please hit the like or the subscribe or leave a comment because we love that feedback. And you know what we say. At the casino, you got to watch your six and you go hard in the paint, guys. Cheers. We'll see you next time.